So when we say unclean and clean, do you have any idea what we're talking about? What's unclean and what's clean? What does that even mean? Well, that's, that's a way, but drinking is lawful, except you be drunk. You can drink in moderations, not to be drunk. Right. So you have to know your limit and don't reach that limit. Right. So we're going to give you an example of clean and unclean. Watch this. Go to uh, Leviticus. Start at uh, 11 and 48. Watch this. Let me show you something. So these are, these are some examples of how we know that the churches that have been set up in Rocky Mount are set up for gain and to keep your minds in captivity. Right. right, we've been in this same state since 1619 and nothing has gotten better. The, the neighborhoods have gotten worse. There was just a murder here in Rocky Mount on Thanksgiving and one yesterday three miles from here. So the state of Rocky Mount is degenerate, right? Watch this. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 46. This is the law of the beasts and the fat and every living creature that moveth in the waters and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. So the Most High God has given us a criteria. He said these are the laws for the beasts, for every creeping animal that's on the earth. And what he's going to explain to you which of these animals are clean and which of these animals are not clean. Meaning clean to eat, clean to touch, clean to handle. All right, there are foods that we cannot eat as a people of God. And we're gonna go to finish reading that. Verse 47, to make a difference. To make a what? A difference. To put a difference between the unclean and the clean. So today we're gonna to help you understand what is clean and what is not clean. Because if, if you look at the, the situation of health for black America, we got gout, we got high blood pressures, we got diabetes, uh, we all are uh, all, all type of blood thinners. And why is that? Why, why are we the only ones that suffer from these health conditions? Because we are not being taught God's laws right. and we're breaking them unknowingly. But today we're going to teach you how not to break God's laws. Right. All right, watch this. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. And the what? The swine. The what? The swine. What is a swine? A pig, that pork chop, that, that country ham that everybody was eating on Thanksgiving, right. right? He said, and the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cut. He is unclean to you. So, did you know that the swine was unclean? Did you know that? Did, did you eat any bacon this morning? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, somebody smiles like, I yeah, had, I had a little bacon. You had a little piece of sausage? I had a leftover ham. You said turkey sausage? All right, I'll let you slide on that one. You said a piece of ham? Yeah. Okay, okay. So now let's find out about those things because God is disappointed with you. That's right. You understand? God is disappointed. God is disappointed with you eating that ham. Read it again. Listen up good. And the swan, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he choose not to cut. He is unclean to you. The swine is an unclean animal. This is where we get high blood pressure, diabetes, gout, from eating pork. If I put, if I had a plate and I put two slabs of meat on the plate and I didn't tell you what type of meat they were, would you just eat or would you ask, what is that? You're going to ask, what is that? So now you need to ask all the time, what is that? Is that clean or unclean food? Because right. everything is not meant to be eaten. Right. Even though people eat it, it's not meant to be eaten, right? So we want to understand that you have to stop eating the swine. Read on. Verse 8. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. So the Bible says you're not even supposed to touch swine, or you're going to be unclean. All right? But look, check this out. The way a pig take a bath, right? Everybody know as soon as a pig used the bathroom, they licked itself. Why isn't it a pig that because the way he stayed in the stable? Well, basically because the most high said he's unclean. Right. That's that's all you need to know. If your daddy say don't do it, don't do it. That's okay. right. You know, that's that's going into being like hard headed when you ask, well, why I can't no, do it? I, I know, I know. Because the way they live, you know. Well the the, the they are what you want to say, um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Scavenger. The scavengers. Right? And they're designed to do a certain job. They are 
They are good animals because the most have made them to do what they're set up to do, but they are unclean for you to eat. You right. can't eat them. All right? Uh, watch this. We're going to go through some more. You got a question? Yeah. Uh, like me and my family, we know pork is bad, so we're trying to wean ourselves from eating pork, period. All praises. But I love bacon. I don't say no lie. Now, no you can eat your turkey bacon. You got to fry it hard, and it'll, 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 it'll do the job. It's fry hard enough. Right. All right? So we're going to go into some more foods that you can't eat, and then we'll get back to the five types of laws. We're gonna, we was dealing with the ceremonial law, so we'll go back to the ceremonial law after this right here. We on? Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales. So this is the criteria for eating things that come out of the rivers and the lakes and the oceans and the Bring seas, all right? They're, they're criterias for God's people, and we have to follow them. If we don't follow them, we are in the midst of what? Sin. Right. Something that your church haven't even told you what sin is. Right? So we're going to read this and then we're going to go tell you what sin is and we're going to come back. Watch this. So everything that's in the water, this is the criteria. Read. Whatsoever hath fins and scales. All right. So we can stop right there. Fins and scales. Fins and scales. All right. So does an eel have fins and scales? Can you eat it? It's unclean to you. If you pull it out the water and it doesn't have fins and scales, it is an unclean animal. Yes, right. All right. What about crab? Can you eat crab? Yeah, you can eat a crab. Why can you eat crab? Because a crab is, because it's not fish or an animal. A crab is very clean, like um, shellfish. shellfish. Okay, so watch this. You read it from the top. Listen real good. These shall he eat of all that are in the waters. These shall you eat that are in the water. Whatsoever has fins and scales. So if it has fins and scales, you can eat it. If it does not have fins and scales, you cannot eat it. Right. So crab, does it have fins and scales? No, it has a shell, an exoskeleton. Right. So a crab is unclean to you, as well as lobster, shellfish, all of those things are unclean. But you go to Red Lobster, that's served as a what? As a delicacy. You pay top dollar. A shrimp. You can't eat a shrimp either because it doesn't have fins or scales. No, you can't eat shrimp. They are unclean to you. They are unclean to you. All right? Bottom feeders, sa uh, scavengers, all right? So you not you haven't heard this in the church, right? So go to um, John 9, 31. Let me, well, go to sin first. So let me show you what has been happening to our community unawares. Right. But today is a new day. Today is a new day. We're going to wake you up. We come here to Rocky Mountain to wake our people up and to get them out of this destruction or this de degenerate state that we've been in for the last 300 some odd years. That's right. right. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. So we, we are on the topic of sin. So the Bible says, whosoever transgresseth the law, committeth sin. All right. Let's, you know what transgress means? Transgress means to break. Right. All right. So if you leave today and you go to Hardy's and you get a double bacon cheeseburger, are you in sin? Yeah, yeah, pork and bacon. You are in sin, and, and you know that you're in sin because you've been told today to stop doing those things. Right. All right? Well, I'm the cheeseburger after the Huh? <laughs> regular cheeseburger. Regular cheeseburger, all praise. <laughs> Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if you commit sin, that means you're breaking God's law. Right. All right, so our people really don't know God's laws because we haven't been taught God's laws. So we are here today in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina to teach these laws. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.